Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Engine programming series where we write a game engine from scratch. So far in this video series we made it possible to create a Visual Studio solution for our game code, add files to it which contain the entity scripts, and finally build it in the form of a DLL, and of course also load it in the level editor. Today I would like to implement adding script components to the game entities, and that involves writing code in both the engine side and the level editor side. So let's get started. In the level editor, we would like to know what the names of the scripts are that we have in the game code DLL, and also a pointer to the creation function to those scripts. So here in game entity, I would like to add two functions that would give us just that information. So the names of the entities and a pointer to the creation function. To be able to remember the names of the scripts, we need to make something that's similar to this macro, which not only registers the script by its hash code and its creation function, but also something that will add the name of this script to an internal data structure that we have similar to this script registry. So for that, we need a function. And of course, we only need to use this function whenever we want to use the engine with a level editor. For the standalone game, we don't need this function. Therefore, I'm going to enclose this definition in an if def block. So it's excluded from compilation whenever we are not building for use with the level editor. And then we need to copy this over, this macro, because we are going to have another version for use with editor. First, because we are including this macro now in the CPP files, we don't need this forward declaration anymore, so I can remove it. And in the case that we are using this engine with the level editor, I need a couple of more lines that actually adds the name of the script as well as this information that we already have. So we call to register script and also add script name. Now I have to implement this function in this namespace. Now going to script CPP, I can make another function similar to this registry that would contain the names of the scripts. But since we again only need that function with the level editor, I'm going to put that in an if def block as well. So now here we have again a static container that contains script names and then now I can go ahead and implement add script name in this CPP file.
And of course, I need to implement get script creator as well. Now remember that we put the script creation function and its tag as a key value pair in this script registry, which is just an unordered map. And whenever we want the pointer to the script creator, we just look it up by its tag. So here we just try to find it. And I assert here that we find it because we shouldn't look up scripts that don't exist. And then we return the second member, which is just a pointer to the creation function. Now, if we look at this diagram that I drew here, you can see that in the case of the level editor, we need the engine DLL and the game code DLL. And we want to import functions from both DLLs in the level editor. So the game code obviously contains the code for the entity script. And it also is linked statically with the engine. And the same is true for engine DLL. The engine DLL is statically linked with engine library, but it doesn't, of course, contain the game code. It's only the engine. So since the game code contains the names of the scripts, we need to import a function from this DLL that would give us the names of the scripts. So engine DLL holds the data and the engine code. For example, the data would be the instances of the entity scripts. So engine DLL would ask the creation function, which is in the game code DLL to create an instance of the entity scripts, and it would hold a pointer to that. So the game code DLL doesn't really have any data in it. Game code DLL only holds game code and functions to instantiate them. And the communication between the two DLLs goes via the level editor. So we need to import functions from game code DLL in the level editor and then use them to retrieve information about the entity scripts and then pass them to the engine DLL so it can create those entity scripts. Therefore, because we are going to ask the game code DLL for those functions, we need to export those functions here in the engine itself instead of putting them in the engine DLL, which is an exception in this case, because I expose all the functionality from the engine through this engine DLL to the level editor. But because we have another DLL loaded, which is the game code DLL, we need to also import functions from the game code DLL, which is only the engine and the game code. So we need to export those functions here in the engine. So here we have a function that's get script names, and it will just return this array of strings containing the script names. But because we are sending this to the C sharp side, we need to use this data structure, which is called the save array. And we, of course, want to export this to the level editor. So we need to use extern C. and DLL export. So first we need to reserve some memory to contain the strings.
Here, this constructor will allocate enough memory to contain all the strings that are in the script names. And then for each script name, we will convert that name from NC strings to BSTR format, which can be used by .NET Framework. So basically we fill in this array with our strings and then we return this array and also called detach. So the task of freeing the memory after we are done with this is moved to the .NET Framework side of things. And there it just will be garbage collected basically. So that's easy. And for the same reason that we are importing script names, from the game code DLL into the level editor. We also need to import the get script creator function to ask the game code DLL what the script creator function pointers are. And therefore I need to put extern C decal spec DLL export in front of this function declaration as well, just to export it. But that again happens only when we are using the level editor. So again, I'll use this if def. And the next step would be to actually import these functions from the game code dialog. Therefore, here in Engine API, we need a couple of functions that will expose those other functions to the level editor. So here where we load the game code DLL, we also import those functions. And that we can do by a couple of API calls to Win32 API. Here I'm just defining a type that's a function pointer and it has the signature of this get script creator method that we just wrote here. It has the same signature and also one that has the same signature as this get script names function. And then we can ask for a pointer to these functions by an API call. Here I am just getting a pointer to the get script names by calling this get proc address. And then I can just ask for that pointer by giving it the name of the function that I want to have a pointer to. And I can do the same for get script creator. And of course, we only return true if we have valid function pointers, so they shouldn't be no. So these two pointers will be populated whenever we load the game code DLL. And then I need to write two functions to just expose these to the level editor like we did for load game code DLL and unload game code DLL.
So this one is pretty simple. If we have loaded the game code DLL and we have a valid pointer to get script creator, we just call it and then convert the name that we have of the script to a tag, which is basically a hash value. And then that would give us a pointer to the creation function for this script. So whenever we have a script name from the level editor, from one of the game entities, we just call this function to get its script creator function. And we can write a similar function for getting the names of all the scripts that we have. And that's it. All we have to do now is to import these functions in the level editor in this engine API. So I'm going to write two more functions here to import them. Here we import the get script creator function, which returns an int pointer. We don't use this directly in the level editor to call anything, of course. We just pass it to the game engine side so that the game engine can call it to create an instance of the entity script. And here we have get scripts names. And all we did here is that we said that its return type is a safe array. So it will be automatically converted from safe array to an array of strings. And while we are here, we can also add new data structures that will contain information about our new script component. So this is the script creator that we get by calling this new function. And that's the way we retrieve information about the entity scripts. And then we can pass it to the engine when we want to create game entities in the engine. So here we need to write some code that also adds the new script component, if we have one. We of course don't have a script component class yet, so we need to write that class first. But here is the place where we add that information in the game entity descriptor. In the next video, we are going to write the script component class so that we can add script components to our game entities and use the creation function to instantiate script components in the engine. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you join me on Patreon, you'll get access to the code on GitHub so you don't have to type everything over from the video. Plus there are also other nice goodies and rewards exclusive to my Patreon supporters. Please use the link in the video description to check them out. I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care and happy game engineering.